Hello, welcome to lesson 27, Abstract Classes in C Sharp, brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is an abstract class. Right now, we will jump into the slide where it is explained clearly. Abstract class. If you want to define an abstract class, then we have to use abstract keyword as mentioned here. Right now, we will jump into Visual Studio and there we will create an abstract class. Here is the console template and how to create a abstract class. It's very simple. How do we create a class? Create a class and tab it twice. It gives me the code snippet for creating the class and I'll name the class as employee class. And if you want to make this class an abstract, then it's very easy. You have to just use the keyword abstract. Now this class is an abstract class. It's very simple. Now coming back to the presentation, an abstract class may contain abstract members like methods, properties, indexes and events but it's not mandatory to have members. To understand this sentence, we'll explore it later but now what an abstract class can contain? It can contain methods, properties, indexes and events. Right now we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll create a method here. How do we create a method? It's very simple. Void. I'll name it as print method name is print and I can make that method as okay, public and if you want to make this method the abstract class can have abstract members so I have to use abstract keyword to make that method as abstract and you can observe here whatever the method I have defined here the method name is print and I'm having implementation for that but when I build this program it tells that it gives me a compile time error telling that project is build, build a standard but failed let's let us see why it has failed employee print cannot declare a body because it is marked as abstract it means that and abstract class having an abstract members cannot provide implementation it, itself there okay it's only the declaration and abstract members for a, for example employee class is an abstract class and the members present in it can have only the declaration and it should be not having the implementation and it should not it will not support also the abstract class does not support implement members implementation so what I've done is I've just declared a method and who is going to implement this method any other class who is inheriting that abstract class employee should implement the print method. How do I do that? It's very simple. If you want to implement the print method which is coming from the abstract class employee you have to use public override keyword void respectively the print method name sorry respectively the method name I'll print as this is an abstract method. Okay. Now, how do I invoke this method? It's very simple. I have to create an object of the class program. P is equal to new program p dot and observe here I'm having a print method getting invoked this is how if you're having an abstract class and that abstract class will be inherited by another class called program and any other class implementing this abstract class should provide implementation for the members present in that abstract class so I will inv I've, I've implemented the print method and I'm printing a line called this is abstract method and how do I invoke this it's very simple to create an object of the class program then it's possible to invoke that print method now when I run this program you can observe it just print this is an abstract method just wait for a while my file is being scanned once it is done you can observe this is an abstract method this is how you will invoke a method and will provide implementation for the abstract class, uh, abstract class members and we'll jump back into the slide 
here you can observe if a class inheriting abstract class then there are two options available for that class one it should provide implementation for all the abstract members inherited from the base abstract class this is what what we did here we've just provided the implementation because this class program has implemented this employee abstract class so I just provided the implementation here and the other thing is if the class does not wish to provide implementation for all the abstract members inherited from the abstract class then the class has to be marked as abstract it means that immediately when I remove this you can observe it throws me a red squiggly telling that program does not implement inherited abstract member and if you explicitly want don't want to implement this method print method which is coming from the abstract class employee then it's very simple you just use abstract keyword before that it's very simple just use the abstract keyword then you can observe the red squiggly event it's because what I'm trying to tell you is if you're having a method which is in the abstract class and if you're inheriting this class to the program class program and if you don't want to implement this method then mark the class as abstract then it will not provide you any errors now when I build this program you can observe here it builds successfully this is what I'm trying to tell you here this is what the meaning of the sentence if you want to provide implementation then go and implement that method in the class where you're calling and if you don't want to provide implementation just then just make that class as abstract as what I did here just place the keyword abstract then it does not cause you any problem okay coming back to the presentation here you can observe the abstract class cannot be instantiated because it is incomplete it means that abstract class does not provide implementation it just provide a declaration then you can understand there is no use of creating an object of the abstract class that's what the meaning of the sentence abstract class can only be used as base class s it means that abstract class can be inherited by other classes and whatever the class inherits that employee class abstract employee class should provide implementation for that that is the meaning of this sentence and abstract class cannot be sealed it means that I'm having a class called employee and I'll make a sealed if I make this class sealed employees telling an abstract class cannot be sealed or static it means that there is a conflict between abstract and sealed so when you're using abstract you should not use sealed and when the sealed is existed you should not use abstract sealed is used in the inheritance we saw sealed is used if you don't want particular class to be inherited from other class then make that class as sealed then it is not possible to inherit that class to the calling class Th that's what the meaning of this sentence abstract class cannot be sealed okay an abstract class may contain abstract members like methods properties and events but it's not mandatory to have members it means that I made uh, my method as abstract it means it's not compulsory that you have to make this method as abstract it does not provide you any okay I'll just remove this keyword you can observe it's not that your uh, it's not compulsory that you have to provide implementation for this method now what I'll do I'll just run this I'll just build this okay now what I've done I just removed the abstract method then if you're not making the abstract class member as abstract then you have to provide the implementation there itself so you can observe this method is not abstract method okay it means that it's not compulsory whatever the members present in the abstract class should be abstract it can be a non abstract method also now when I go and build this project it's built successfully that's what the meaning of this sentence an abstract class may contain abstract members like methods properties indexes and events but it but it's not mandatory to have members it's up to you whether you make this class this method is an abstract method or a non abstract method that's all coming back presentation a non abstract class derived from an abstract class must provide implementation for all the inherited abstract me abstract members this we saw previously it means that over the class implementing this abstract class employee should provide the implementation in the respective paradigm in, in the respective class where you are calling 
that's what the meaning of this sentence okay thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to agro training